Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Kenji. In between the episodes I did a lot of traveling and especially also armor crafting. But most importantly you can see we have a whole bunch of new people. What I actually did is I traveled south, I went over Squin, through the swamp, then we went all the way down to Clownsteady just to discover it and see what it's all about. But right there in Clown Steady, I was actually lucky enough to get like 8 new recruits, I don't even know. The new recruits are Falgren, Omar, Ebas, Risk, Snow, Mercer, Bjork, Fireheart, Atomiston, Dr. Tasty, Karma and Izumi. Now Izumi, where the heck are you? Oh, she's actually not here, hold the phone. Izumi is all alone, new! No! So I have to say, we were extremely lucky in terms of making new recruits, I also purchased some more food. But overall, we will have a new squad to arrange. I'm probably gonna end up with a couple of gate guards that are always gonna remain at the gates. And then we have a dedicated fighting squad, so I don't have to decide who I leave at home, it's always clear. So with all of these guys, we need to somehow make it due north without dying. And this is not gonna be the easiest of tasks. On the other side with Nathan, I actually want to remain here. I did make a couple of discoveries in terms of recipes. If we have a look at the crafting, we unlocked two recipes, the samurai helmet and the samurai armor. And that's the reason I actually went to Drifters last. Quite a journey we had to take. I'm gonna leave Nathan here because I still want the rest of the samurai armor recipes. Now, Izumi wasn't one of your suggestions. She actually joined me without me being able to rename her. Oh, a random guy just wants to talk to us or fight to us. I'm not sure. Trust us. We can help you. Maybe this guy's even gonna join us. Come, you're safe with us. <laughs> so now Jürgen also joined the squad. This is kind of insanity. Let me actually add another squad uh, for people I need to rename. Otherwise, I might forget. So, Izumi, you definitely belong here. And then we also have Jürgen. Okay, nice. Let's do this. Should we go ahead and have a look at this ruin? Oh, there's also the workshop complex. But right now, I really don't have the time for that. And also I'm not really here with the fighting squad, I'm here with new recruits. So I think I'm gonna make my way back just the way we came, which was essentially through here along the swamp and then maybe we can just kind of go back to Squin and home. Everyone, march! Okay, so far so good. That was actually the easy part. Hold the phone. Okay, maybe that wasn't the easy part. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, make it back to the guard gates. We just have to hope these guys aren't too fast. They seem to be faster than we are. Uh, actually, not necessarily. You're gonna regret attacking a noob group like us. Because we have no shame to run to the guards. Here we go. Come on, help us a little bit. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Alright guys, calm down a little bit. We, we do not want to fight too much. Especially because I, I don't think we have anyone here that would do the healing. Oh, actually, Moshi could do the healing, so let's see. You are gonna be medic. There we go. Moshi, come, do your thing. Very good. It's gonna be much easier to then get back home with Nathan alone. But this group here is fragile. Like, any single group in this game is probably gonna take us out. Ah, no, 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 a blood spider. I hate it. Okay, we, we have to do this. We can do one blood spider if it is just this one. Oh, Bully actually already took care of it. <laughs> However, it is not just one. No, there's someone else. A Swamp Ninja. <laughs> He's gonna knock me out, or at least a couple of my people. Right? Well, it's good training, I guess. Harsh training. Uh, no, no. Oh, come on. He's taking down Risk like crazy. You know what? Risk, you go back to your group. So this makes more sense. I mean, my people are not even helping right now. Ah, jeez. No! Another three swamp ninjas. Okay, we need to take our pack animals. You need to go ahead and... Slow little bastards. Well, at least it worked. Kind of bringing him to Packy. Bobo, you should be fighting this guy and Axel maybe. And yeah, then, then we're probably good, huh? Come on. Yes, okay. We can actually kind of distract them. Uh, Packy, you're gonna go take on this guy. Good. Oh man, these animals are extremely valuable, especially because we have even more Swamp Ninjas coming in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, how are you doing? Uh, Falgreen is down. Okay, just one person down. That's actually not too bad. Bully, did you just knock him out? I think so, right? This guy is unconscious. So Bully's gonna go for this guy. Paki's gonna go for this guy. And then Bobo is still fighting you, huh? Life is harsh. Life is extremely harsh at the moment. Come on. Oh, okay, Bobo is not that good yet. Oh, they just knocked him out cold. Come on, Paki. Yes, 103 more damage. Okay, Swap Ninjas are almost out. Yes, great. And Moshi is already healing again. We kind of survived this one, uh, but we have like two people dying at the moment. Let's just hope bandaging actually helps them and we're gonna speed this up for the people that are dying. Atomisten and Bjork. So Moshi, please. First aid Bjork first. Yeah, unconscious already. Good. Then Moshi, you heal also Atomisten until he's not dying anymore. He's in water! <laughs> Okay, Axel, please pick up Atomisten and bring him over into the dry land. Izumi, you're going to pick up Falgren and do the same. Oh no, your arm does not look good. <laughs> but we can save him. Uh, he's already just unconscious. Oh, Bjork is actually also unconscious. Uh, loot. No, 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 no. I want to pick you up. Breathe. Yeah, Falgren's got something there. Nathan is going to patiently wait in this city because we need to get this guy to give us the rest of the ninja gear. And right now I think we already purchased everything we can and we need to wait for the next opening. Oh yay, we're super fast now. Mm. I think risk is a problem. So maybe snow, you pick up risk. Or we could splint injuries maybe too. Let's see, does that make us faster? No. <laughs> Ah, okay. Jurgen is actually the problem. There we go. Dr. Tasty, pick him up. So now my group is okay fast and some people are even training their strength already. What is that? Oh no, it's gonna eradicate us. I thought I would be more secure here. I especially went out of the swamp just for this. And now this thing is going nuts on me. Okay, it's actually very weak. We are making progress. As you can see, we are basically halfway there. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, they, they didn't see us yet. Skin spider, man. Can we make it over here to the village? Yeah, they're kind of moving into the other direction, fortunately enough. Ooh, this is actually a village ruin. Why is it a ruin? What happened here? Uh, it's kind of sad. I just really need to babysit them because we could meet this herd over there. And that is not good. We have to avoid it at all costs. So I'm already gonna change direction, be far away. Whoop, I almost forgot. It is now actually the next day, which means we can try the trader again. Yes, he's got new blueprints. Samurai boots, yes. Uh, no, he still doesn't have the leg plates. I want these leg plates for my guys. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we have an issue here. Two bandits. They are not the issue, but this guy here is also coming for us. So let's maybe move over. Bully and Paki are actually doing fine. Paki's gonna take on you, Bully's gonna take on the spider, and then we have Bobo, which can take on the other guy here. So let's see how that functions. Omar is now running, that's not good. Only Bully should be taking on this guy, and then Paki should be taking on this guy. Okay, so with a little bit of micromanagement, a lot can be saved actually. Okay, another crisis averted. Let's move on to Squin. We've almost made it. Now the bandit demands have arrived. Oh, jeez. It's the Black Dragon Ninjas! Yes! <laughs> I miss those guys. Grand friend, how did you manage to glitch yourself into this? Holy Moses! <laughs> Let's uh, fix the nav mesh again. I don't know what happens here. They don't really seem to be eager to attack us at the moment. Well, in this case, we're gonna move on with our group until something... Oh, hold the phone. Snow is unconscious. <laughs> oh, we have so many issues. Mercer. Okay, you can still carry this guy. Come on, uh, you guys wait. And then we move together to Squin as a group. Okay, looks like these guys are not gonna attack. So my recommendation is to get my farmers to farm again. Maybe we could tell a bunch of our warriors to take over for now. I think some of them actually have a good turret skill. Yeah, for instance, Rusty. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why do we have two Alex? How did that happen? Stop it. Are you serious? 
I think I'm gonna rename this Alec here. So let me quickly move the squad. So Alec is also going into the rename spot. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I named two guys Alec. Maybe it has been suggested twice, but I don't think so. Yay, we actually made it to Squin. I cannot believe it. The rest of the journey shouldn't be too hard if we don't meet too many big things. Oh, Jürgen actually has a bounty. I did not know. Maybe we can get rid of that somehow. Otherwise, we're gonna sell him. Bastard. Oh no, we left someone at Squin. Ugh, I hate that. Game, I hate that. Axel and Paki. There we go. You bloody morons. We made it, guys. We made it back home. At least almost. There's not much that can go wrong here. We have the raiders in the back, actually, and the farm traders have arrived, but they are with the bandits, so <laughs> doesn't really make sense to get out there. Uh, no, I think we're gonna make it before them. No problems. Let's get in here. Come on, can you pathfind? No, of course you cannot. Okay, we're good. Home, safe. Let's open the door and bring you all in. Come on. Ah, we have wares for you. I have no time for your foolishness. Come on, guys. Come in, be safe. Yes. How stressful. How stressful. But now we have tons of new people. We have to rename three people still. And then Nathan is just waiting until I have the complete samurai armor set so we can start crafting that. <laughs> oh, I think it's actually behind the tree here. Yeah, they're coming up. Come on, guys. I'm ready for you. No, okay. You, you just want to walk past? Okay. You do you. No, look at that. The two bandit groups are actually fighting each other. How convenient. Everyone is chipping in. No, okay, that was the caravan. The first fight was between Band of Bones and the caravan. And now these guys are finally attacking. They took a while to attack. And some of them are taking a little detour around the wall. So there you go, guys. Take that. Oh, yeah. The corpses are gonna be piling up. And now we also don't have any issues to actually reach everyone. As you can see... Uh, okay, now maybe it's time to bring in everyone from here. And as soon as they do a little bit of damage to the gate, which they actually did not yet do. There we go. Okay, let's repair. And maybe we can uh, counteract this a little bit. The gates are very weak, I noticed. Hopefully there are going to be some more upgrades still. But we should be easily able to knock them out cold just with our harpoon turrets. Bandit Raid has been defeated, thank you very much. And these guys are still fighting, right? Uh, poor caravan. Though they're actually not doing bad. The Hivers are extremely resilient for some reason. Don't underestimate them. Yeah, the Shack Challengers have been defeated. They took care of it for me. Off camera, I'm going to rename Izumi, Jürgen and Alec into Aurora, Reese and Alex, respectively. So Alec is not Alec, it, but it's gonna be Alex which is not a suggestion. I'm also going to wait with Nathan to purchase the rest of the samurai armor recipes and then we make our way back. And after all of that, I'm gonna meet you right back. All right, guys, it is a beautiful morning on day 203. I'm finally training again with my new recruits. We now have an enormous fighting squad. We might have to divide this up a little bit. Some of the people that don't have anything to do, I send to sleep, so they don't eat quite as much. But at the moment, we do not have any issues whatsoever with the food. You can see there's still plenty of food in here and in there. What we are doing at the moment is finally the title of the episode, and that is crafting some gear. Hudson is actually a master smith. Look at that. He's doing tremendous work at the moment. So if we have a look into our chest right here, we already have a few more things prepared. I actually started gearing up my guys a little bit. So all of my workers are now gonna get a at least specialist grade Rattan hat. They will also have at least specialist grade plate jackets and samurai cloth pants and also drifters boots. The weapon is still not the final one. Of course, the spiked club is pretty bad. Then on the other side, my warriors, apart from the martial artists, but my heavy tanks do get a samurai armor, a samurai helmet, leg plates and boots. So the entire set and the shirt I still haven't decided on. But I've already done that with Marco and Knight actually also has a complete set, as you can see. I'm not yet sure for my melee guys, because the skills effects are a little bit harsh here. I do not want to stealth with them. My stealth team is gonna be the martial artists. 
So I'm seriously thinking of giving every one of my guys this armor. It would essentially mean my guys do not dodge anymore. They can still parry probably. But also their attack is lowered slightly. However, they would barely take any damage with this armor. So I think it's worth a try. We're also going to train some more people in martial arts and they're going to have a different outfit. And so will also the ranged units. They will have different outfits. So that means Armitage, because I left you out in the previous episode and it was my fault that you actually lost your arm, you're going to get your armor first. Uh, actually get that out of the way. You are going to get... No, that's wrong. Well, you're going to get a samurai helmet. Congratulations. And unfortunately, that is all I can really give you. Well, let's have a look out for the workers. For instance, Dave, he does not have any armor. You can have that if you come here. A plate jacket. Beautiful. Oh, this is so good. Just the shirt missing. Goose, you also need to come here. Thank you. You get that. And also some drifter spoots for you. And last but not least, we have Alec, which also gets a plate jacket. Then his outfit is complete. Now, we're still crafting quite a few things, so I'm happy about that. And currently we have Bandit Demands moving towards us. So I guess those guys are gonna knock soon. But it shouldn't be a problem because we have our turret farmers on the job. Uh, let me actually close the gate just to be sure. I wanna... Yeah, there we go. They actually mount the turrets. No, there's something to farm again. Maybe the concept with farming and turrets is not working out. I'm actually thinking about rearranging this a little bit. Now that we are gearing up, maybe the roles aren't that important anymore. So I think I'm gonna collect my robots to build a turret squad. Though at the moment we only have two robots. Kai already has the samurai armor and Ikas doesn't, so I will have to upgrade his. But I think I'm gonna put those guys in a separate group. So instead of turret farmers, you're only gonna be farmers as of this point. And I also noticed something else. Maybe we should rearrange even more. No, I didn't think it was that important, but I noticed maybe it is slightly important. For instance, these guys, they have a racial disadvantage in farming. And we have three Shek actually farming. However, the Greenlanders seem to have it the other way around. They have a bonus of 1.2. Well, essentially that means Connor, Sane and Grand Fremd are not really right in this squad. So we are gonna switch things around. Oh, the drones are actually also really good farmers from the looks of it. They will just have to learn. So I think I'm gonna take my three new drones, which are just training at the moment. And they're gonna take over for my Shek. There we go. Riz, Mohamed and Yas are now our new farmers and they do have a racial bonus. Of course, they will still have to uh, upgrade their farming. Here we go. But, you know, that is gonna happen eventually. I do not really worry about that. The next thing we want to rearrange is we want to have a new group. Let's add a squad. And I'm gonna call this Tourette Syndrome. Turret Boys. Perfect. So, Ikas, you're gonna join the Turret Boys. Man, this interface. And then we have Kai, who is gonna join the Turret Boys. And I guess that's all for now. Now we just have to recruit more drones. So, let me actually check your stats. Turret's not very good. We will have to train that up with both of you, actually. Let's actually try this. I'm gonna give you the turret jobs right there. However, if you have nothing to do, you should train up your turret skills. And we have those actually right here. Those three machines you need to train especially. Hudson is still crafting happily away. Might still take a while. And the bandits actually have arrived. Ah, they're gonna be easy. Easy peasy. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do that. We're gonna do raid frequency 0.5. Can I do this? Exactly. And then raid event size, we're gonna double. Half as many raids, but double the size. Should be cool. Okay, I think they're actually coming for me. Let's just send a couple more guys over here. I think Super Maniac is also good with turrets. And what was it? Sexy Lover? No, Mickey, actually. Mickey, you should come here. And oh, they're actually already dead. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. There's one guy left standing. Come on. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, now I have to do something else. Otherwise, they are never gonna get out of combat. That is my problem. They usually don't take their secondary jobs because there are still guys unconscious on the floor. So what we really want to do is we want to dedicate a couple of guys to take care of that. Maybe my Kung Fu guy, Sleeptronic and Rusty. I think that is a good idea. So I should be able to throw them out. Can I not throw you out? 
You know, I would love to throw them out of the town. Let me pick you up and maybe put you inside. Maybe I can do something with that. Yeah, throw out of town. I would like this to be a job. Can I do that? Yes, remove intruder. Oh, it's the dust boss even. Maybe we should check him out. This might be a good weapon for now. But most importantly, Sleeptronic, you should also do that job. So now we are throwing everyone out of town and Marco and Knight are incinerating the dead people and that means Ikas and Kai are gonna get out of combat eventually because there are no more enemies. How is the armor crafting going? Not bad. Lots of samurai helmets. Let's go ahead and distribute a couple. Alex, for instance, you come here. Lars, you come here. Super Maniac, you come here. Nice. Okay, you can actually get rid of that eventually. Let's put that here. Also, you don't need your boots anymore. We're gonna give that to a worker and, well, I guess the rest we're gonna exchange in just a second. Actually, let's get rid of the bad stuff because we are gearing up right now. We don't need all this green stuff anymore. You can go right to the incinerator. Then uh, Lars. Uh, Lars, you also get one of those helmets. You know what? I should actually sell those drifter thingy-majobs. Also, there's a specialist grade. I might want to keep that one. But really, 300 cats, it's not worth it for me to keep around. I'm just gonna get rid of that. But 2,000 cats, on the other hand, for the turtleneck, that's uh, totally worth it. So I would say we have a reason to store the armor actually in here in order to sell it eventually. Ooh, I think the armored faceplates might just be the thing for our archers. I think I'm gonna go with the drifter set for the archers and then an armored faceplate for the head. Yeah, I like that. We, we have the recipe here, armored faceplate, and we can make like specialist or masterwork great. I have Sexy Lover, Mickey, Alper, and probably Moshi, who I want to make uh, ranged. As far as I can tell, there's no significant advantage in crossbows in any race. So yeah, Sexy Lover, Mickey, Alper, and Moshi are gonna get this exact outfit here. Except, of course, they get a ranged weapon and a nice katana. Maybe a club instead of a katana, just to mix it up a little bit. Our melee guys are already gonna have a lot of katanas. Cool, we could already give Moshi most of the stuff, we just need the helmet and the darn vest. The vest just takes too long, it takes over a day to actually craft. So I'm waiting with that for last. But yeah guys, I think that's how it's gonna go for the next few days. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, but I'm gonna take myself the time to properly equip my guys and also train them at the same time. We have good defenses, we are self-sustaining at the moment, uh, I think at least again. Yeah, this is still pretty full. We can always send someone to purchase some food. But this is gonna take me a while to train and armor up my guys. I just wanted to build up to it in this episode and I think we've successfully done that. So without any further ado, thank you so much for watching, have a great time, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.